Hello everyone and welcome back to the Salino channel. If you're someone that pays attention to the Jurassic universe, which considering you're watching my videos, I really hope you are, um, then you'll know that recently Universal dropped the second trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. Now one thing this trailer does particularly well is not reveal anything and considering some of the past promotion campaigns for Jurassic movies, that did come as quite a surprise. It also means that there's still so much space for theories and one of which we're going to be looking at today. So assuming you've read today's title, in this video we're going to be looking at the potential return of the Spinosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion. Now as always, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. I set a like goal of 25 on yesterday's video and considering that was my return, you absolutely smashed it. So thank you so much and as a reward you're getting your video two days in a row. But with that being said, enjoy the video. Now as I mentioned at the start of the video, last Thursday Universal did in fact drop the second trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. After watching it several hundred times, one thing I've noticed is the fact that this trailer is more or less just extended clips of footage we've already seen. Now obviously it did reveal some new footage, but in comparison to other film trailers, not that much. However, one part of the trailer that did get, you know, a lot of attention was what I'm going to assume is the climax of the film, where the Giga is battling the main characters. And one part of this sequence that did interest me was this. Now apologies that the quality isn't super brilliant, but it's enough to sort of get the basis of what the point I'm gonna be making is. So as you can see, or not so clearly see, you've got basically the main cast of the film in addition to a few side characters. But more to the topic of today's video, as you can see, Henry Wu and Ian Malcolm are both looking to the right of them, Maisie's looking to the left, and then Laura Dern and, you know, all, all of them lot, they're all looking directly in front of them. So for continuity, I'm just going to refer to the people looking at the right of them, group one, people looking in front of them, group two, and people looking to the left of them, or just Maisie, that is group three. So obviously, as we know, the big baddie, if you will, of Jurassic World Dominion is the Giganotosaurus. And as you can see, the cast seem to be where the climax of the film is going to be, which is, of course, uh, Biosyn Valley. So yeah, you can probably imagine that group two, they're looking directly because they're looking in front of them at what you can probably presume is the Giga. And then you've got group one who are looking to the right of them, which, you know, it's Jurassic Park, so that's Jurassic World. So, you know, you'd probably think that would be your T-Rex, right? But then you've got Maisie slash group three looking to the left of them at some unknown creature, person, we don't know what. So when this was brought to my attention, I'm not sure by who, but I will leave it in the comments. Um, I thought, well, there is that Lego set, the Giganotosaurus uh, and Ferrazinosaurus attack. So maybe it's the T-Rex, Giga and Ferrazinosaurus because that would make sense. However, as I said, after watching the trailer several hundred times, one thing I noticed in particular was Ellie Sattler says, what is that? And Alan Grant replies, the largest carnivore the world has ever seen. Now, obviously, paleologically, the largest dinosaur the world has ever seen is in fact the Spinosaurus. And ironically, Alf, everyone in Dominion's cast, the only person to have, you know, seen a Spinosaurus in the flesh is actually Alan Grant. So it seems like they're subtly hinting at the potential of the Spinosaurus, but I don't know if it really makes sense, but you can also maybe mention the fact that this is the third film in the Jurassic World era, and the third film in the Jurassic Park era did introduce the Spinosaurus, so there's always that factor too. So who knows, maybe there might be like some redemption arc for the Spinosaurus where it comes out of nowhere and takes on the Giga to save the main cast, you know? I just feel like it wasn't done justice for what it actually is in Jurassic Park 3. So even if there's the slimmest chance it appears in Dominion, I would love to see it personally, but that is just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments if you think the Spinosaurus will appear in Dominion, and if not, let me know what you think the main cast is looking at. That is all for today's video, and as I did mention, if you can consider liking and subscribing, it will really help motivate me to keep posting and keep producing all this content. It is sometimes hard work, so, you know, your support is very much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll do up to you in the next one.